starts now. Mom and Dad are out here sharing a message of love and hope. And they would want us to forgive. Tonight, a family offers forgiveness after a fatal Fresno County crash. A wife and mother died at the scene Saturday, and now her husband has also passed away from his injuries. Thank you for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 6. I'm Margo Kim. And I'm Warren Armstrong. Prosecutors filed charges today against the suspected drunk driver accused of killing the couple. The charges include two counts of murder because of his lengthy history of DUI convictions. Action News reporter Vince Barra joins us live from Carruthers with the message from the victim's children during this unimaginable loss. Vince. Well, Margot Warren, the family of Mary and Paul Hardin say this is where they served as church missionaries before their lives were cut short by a suspected drunk driver tonight. In an interview you'll only see on Action News, their children share how they are dealing with this devastating loss. Through tears, Anna Nelson, the daughter of Paul and Mary Hardin, share how her family is finding peace after a tragic car crash on Saturday. Their mother died at the scene and their father was hospitalized in critical condition. Four of the Hardin's 10 children say they had to make the heart-wrenching decision to take him off of life support on Monday. They were incredible and they were always try trying to be better. And we were the very blessed recipients of their love. The California Highway Patrol says 54-year-old David Alvarado was driving under the influence when his pickup truck slammed into the Hardin's Nissan car and a Camaro when they were sitting at a stoplight on Highway 41 in Manning Avenue. Alvarado and the driver of the Camaro were taken to the hospital and treated for minor injuries. Action News has uncovered Alvarado's lengthy history of driving under the influence. He was previously convicted on six occasions for offenses in 1997, 2005, 2016, two in 2019, and in 2021. In July 2023, he had to wear a leg device to make sure he wasn't drinking and driving, but authorities say that only lasted 120 days. Now he's facing eight new charges, including two counts of murder and two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter while impaired with prior convictions. I think the overwhelm, overwhelming feeling amongst our sibling group is just try try to have it in our hearts to forgive. And I think that's where we're getting to yeah. um, because that's what mom and dad would have wanted. Mm -hmm. They would have been the first to forgive him. The Hardin's children say they are overwhelmed with people offering support during this difficult time. They add it's a true testament to how giving their parents were to others, always offering support to people in need. Their life's mission and their life's work, I feel like they completed everything that they came here to do. Such a devastating story. Now the Hardin family is inviting the community to this church to celebrate their parents' lives tomorrow night at six o'clock. Uh, they also are, uh, the information for that ceremony will be listed on our website. As for the DUI suspect, he is expected to be arraigned tomorrow in court. Live in Carruthers, I'm Vincey Barra, ABC 30 Action News.